Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Here, wait for the police. I literally didn't see that. Better swing around the outside to look for this man. I could have taken him. Sure, sure. Gotta find the survivors fast. Hey, big guy. Men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic fist talks.
Come on. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Please, let me get this. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. Like to Newark? <laughs> this is your master plan? Replace Fisk? Yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. Afraid I have to ask you to pull over the helicopter, sir. One engine down. Now for the second. <laughs> Need a plan. A plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete. You got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up. are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, it's solid. Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All oh, right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. 
Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Attention units. Witness report of an assault in progress. Officers near Gramercy, please report. Demons are getting bold. And now for listener emails. Maple. Sweet dreams. Ah! was a maniac, but he loved New York. The demons, though, seems like they just want to tear the city down. Demons are down. Break out the car. Attention all units, active robbery of an armored vehicle. Officers needed south of Houston. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. 
for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
was right there. Gotta find a way around these guys. Can't cross yet. That was right there. Gotta help him. to leave now Dad. Dad. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. 
I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this res Cycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. It is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Once again, defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and... ...that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. Available unit, possible narcotic sale reported. Officers near Devil's Shelf, please report to the scene. MJ's hunch was right. Place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Hey, 
，没人知道这个地方。Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. from Fisk's armory. Demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. 
Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Sleep it off. I literally didn't see that coming. Sweet dreams. Not out here. Better check inside. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stuff. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. What else can I find around here?
These guys aren't kidding around. Bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Expecting, but it was definitely not this. Damn it! I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that sable thing. 
I should have told you earlier, but it all will happen so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh, the locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. This is Sable Control, requesting update from Bowery. Control, our APC is under attack by demons. Missed another call from Doc. I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me, but I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... There. High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right.
What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he need Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Creepy. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I didn't get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! What the? Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's... Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. 
Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have, have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Stable control. The boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. Need reinforcements out from the box truck. We're taking fire. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Look at all this new stuff. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then, it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big ch- Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a- Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I, uh, 
have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. 
All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. your butts. Good. We're en route with additional thanks for the assist, but we had it covered. Just backing you up, sport. are on a suicide run. There's a bomb in the front car. Ooh, cops and robbers. Can I play too? Damn bomb in the truck. Gotta get it out of here. Those guys didn't even have licenses. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know, bad boys aren't my type.
Hey, sorry about that. I'm back. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. What happened? So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yo, Rick! Boss wants to talk to you. Get in here! Yeah. Need to get into that office. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. If the boss sees that, he'll be pissed. What was that? Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never know this! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Ah! Cause it won't be there! God damn it! I said I'll fix it! Ah! Ah! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such 
such a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> Smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well... Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but... but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just... The couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Shit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? 
let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. Delta, don't move! 